From left to right, Alain Jordan Morange, Madeleine Gray, Germaine Melanson and Maurice Ravel in 1925 Madeleine Gray, June 11, 1896, 13 March. 1979, was a French classical singer whose voice is usually described as soprano but which also encompassed a mezzo-soprano repertoire. Madeleine Gray was born in villens la joule Mayenne, in France in 1896 into a Jewish background. Her musical studies took her to the Paris Conservatoire to study both the piano, with Alfred Cortot, and singing, with Amade Louis Hedich. Her exceptional promise as a singer was soon recognized, and she gave her debut concert with the Pas de Loup Orchestra in Paris in 1919. This first concert was attended by Gabriel Faure and Maurice Ravel, both of whom went on to work closely with her in performances of their works. Faure accompanied her in the first performance of his song Cycle Mirages in December 1919. For Ravel she gave the first performances of the orchestral version of his Du Melodie Hebraics in 1920, and the Chansons Modicuses in 1926. Her other associations with Ravel included a concert tour with him in Spain in 1928, participation in the Sibur Festival for the composer in 1930, and singing at a memorial concert after his death. Joseph Kantlub dedicated to her a set of his chants d'Auvergne, and she gave the first performance of them in 1926, achieving considerable popular success. Her repertoire also included works by Otorino Respighi, Ator Villalobos, Darius Mio, and Arthur Honegger. Madeleine Gray traveled widely, especially in Italy and the United States, appearing at many festivals. She sometimes experienced the rising influence of anti-Semitism, as in 1933 when her engagement at a concert in Florence was abruptly cancelled and she was replaced by another singer. When the war with Germany broke out in 1939 she was abroad, and did not return to France until 1947. She lived in Paris again from 1952, and died there in 1979. Ravel provided an early account of Madeleine Gray's voice in a letter recommending her to the conductor Ernest Ansermet, she is one of the most remarkable interpreters, an attractive voice, fairly powerful, and very clear. And, very notably, perfect diction. Thanks to her, people have heard Scheherazade as something other than a symphonic poem. This view has been endorsed by a modern critic on the basis of her recordings, her voice is strong and clear. Her diction excellent, her interpretations were individual and intelligent. Madeleine Gray's legacy of recordings is small but significant. In 1930, she made the first recording of a selection of the Chants d'Auvergne by Kantlub. In 1932, she also made recordings of Ravel's Chansons Modicuses, the Du Melodie Hebraics and the Chanson Hebraique, Six Sides of 78 revolutions per minute, which were supervised by the composer and which therefore give a unique insight into his expectations of performance. All of these recordings have been reissued on CD. Gray, Madeline. Souvenirs d'une interprète, in Revue Musicale, N. 185-187. Thanks for watching.